Hey there tech fans, Rick here again from the O-Ray team. In today's video, I'll show you how you can easily install a silicon motion graphics driver that allows you to use the O-Ray Split Extent product with your computer. This driver is a free download, it's incredibly easy to use, and once it's installed, it'll allow your computer to recognize external displays and provide complete control over how those displays are organized. Now next I'll walk you through the steps, and then I'll come back at the end with some final comments. To install a motion graphics driver, you'll first need to download the software to the computer you'll be using with the Split Extend. The software is free and really easy to install. You can simply open a browser and navigate to this address and download the software from there. On this page, you'll have a choice between a version for Windows, Mac, or Android, so simply select the right file for your operating system. You can click the download icon on the right to start the download. This will open a window for you to select the location for the file on your computer and be sure to download it to a folder that's easy to find later on. Once the download completes, open your file browser and navigate to the folder you downloaded the software to so you can start the installation process. In this folder, you'll see a compressed file that includes the Silicon Motion driver. You'll first need to uncompress this file to install the software. To do this, you can right click on the file and choose the Extract Here option. If you don't have a compression program installed on your computer, you'll need to download a version to unpack this file. These are free, and you can easily find one with a quick Google search. When the file is finally uncompressed, you'll see a new folder called Falcon Host Software with the files you'll need to install the driver. In this example, I'm using a Windows computer, and the folder gives you a choice based on the processor installed in your computer. Most larger computers use x86 processors, and some laptops use the ARM A64 processor, so be sure to choose the right one. Open the folder that matches your computer's processor, and you'll see a single executable file. You can simply double-click this file to install the driver. Once the installation process completes, you're ready to use the Split Extend to share or expand your desktop to external monitors. Once you connect the Split Extend to your computer, the driver you just installed will detect the product and immediately search for any external monitors connected. You'll have complete control over how these external monitors are used and configured. To access these settings, right-click anywhere on your desktop and select Display Settings. This will take you to the main configuration screen where you can make changes to your displays. Normally, you'll have a single monitor connected and can easily adjust things like the scale of the text, the brightness, and the color. The minute you connect the split extent to the computer with two external monitors attached, you'll see all three of them displayed here so you can configure them. To start with, you can adjust the position of the monitor to match your particular setup. Right now, we have the two external monitors to either side of the original display, and this is the most common setup for sharing your desktop. You might decide to position both external monitors on a stand with one above the other, and you can click and drag them on this screen to match that setup. Simply click the monitor you'd like to move and slide it into position. When you're finished, be sure to click the Apply button to lock in the changes. One other useful thing you can do from this section of the Configuration menu is to identify the various displays. By clicking the Identify button, you'll see a number appear in each of the displays confirming that your layout is correct. When you have finished positioning the monitors, you can then decide if each of these is a mirror of the original screen or if it is sharing your desktop. The difference between these two options is that a mirror just shows the same display on external monitors where extending your desktop includes these additional monitors into a single large display. This allows you to increase your screen real estate to move your programs between them as if they were one large monitor. To configure each of these external monitors, simply highlight it by clicking on its image and then scrolling to the bottom of the page to adjust the settings. Here you'll find options to adjust a wide variety of parameters for these monitors to suit your particular setup. The first choice you'll have is for the resolution of the monitor you've selected, and since the split extend automatically detects this for you, you can normally leave it as the recommended setting. If you want to change this, you can choose a different resolution from the drop-down menu. 
You also have a choice of either landscape or portrait for the external monitor you've chosen and can even flip the perspective if you need to for a specific monitor layout. This allows you to easily mix and match monitor orientations as needed. The next choice down determines how this external monitor will relate to the primary display. You can either decide to duplicate or mirror the main display with this monitor or extend your desktop between the main display and this external display. Duplicating the screen can be really helpful when you want to share a document or a video or a presentation to several monitors at the same time. Extending your desktop, on the other hand, allows you to use it as if it were part of the original display. This can be a great option to allow you to expand your desktop so you can open more programs at the same time in full screen mode. You can even expand your desktop further by using additional Split Extend products on the same computer that will enable you to connect up to eight monitors on your Windows-based system and up to six monitors in total on a Mac. Once connected, you'll have the same configuration options on these additional monitors and can customize them as needed for your setup. I hope you found that installation tutorial helpful. The Silicon Motion Graphics Driver is an incredibly powerful program that works with Windows, Mac, and even Android systems and enables your computer to easily recognize multiple external displays at the same time. It works perfectly fine with the O-Ray Split Extend product, and once installed, you can organize your displays, share your desktop to those external displays, or even extend your desktop across the wide landscape of displays you have connected up. The Split Extend product is fully supported with up to four of these on a single computer, which means you can have up to eight external displays. So I hope you found this review helpful, and until next time, thanks again for watching.